What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the strongest teams in Series 12 at the moment that features Swift Swim Barracuda, Choice Scarf Kyogre, and obviously cannot have a best team without Sassian. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of it. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, seriously, I'm begging you to scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But before we get started in today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out and a huge congratulations to Marco Fury for making this team and actually winning the most recent Pokemon Sword and Shield tournament with it. He won the most recent tournament over Wi-Fi battles with over 300,000 players up against him. That is insane. That is just crazy to think about. So seriously, congratulations. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. Definitely go check him out. Show him some genius love. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only Zassian for the team preview. This Pokemon is phenomenal. Like I said, this is one of the best teams at the moment for Series 12. And you cannot have a best team without Zassian and Kyogre. I feel like those are just the best two restricted mods in the game right now. This thing is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, pretty uh, pretty normal Zassian setup here. It's got the Interpret Sword, the Rusted Sword as its ability and item. And then we got Iron Head, Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and protect nothing too fancy just keeping it simple something that's been working all this time right next to him is going to be cartana and i absolutely love cartana great in dynamax great without dynamax considering it's fast and it hits really really hard alongside with this beast boost it can legit stack up attack boost and just steamroll battle so whenever you get a kill it just gets stronger stronger and stronger eventually probably sweeping if you can have speed control with this thing it's got that assault fest as an item and it's rocking out with this lovely move set of leaf blade smart strike both for stab and then you got two coverage moves with the aerial ace and sacred sword Middle left is going to be our first out of two support runs for the team, and that is going to be Indeedee over here. Indeedee's rocking the Psychic Seeds, along with the Psychic Surge as its ability, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect for a great, great support moveset for this team. Right next to him is going to be our second support mod, and that is going to be Woman's Guy over here. Obviously, it has the Prankster and the Focus Sash as its item and ability, and then the moveset is rocking out with his Tailwind for Speed Control, Helping Hand, Encore, and Energy Ball for our Lonely Hitting move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be a big part of this team. This is going to be Barrascuda over here. It has Swift Swim to double its speed and rain. Life Orb as I'm going to do more damage. And it's rocking out with an amazing moveset of Bounce, Liquidation, Drill Run, and Throat Chop. So three coverage moves, one stab move. This Pokemon is phenomenal in Dynamax due to its move pool. You got the Bounce, which turns into Max to Airstream for speed boost for a team. You got the Drill Run, which turns into a special defense boost. Then you got that Throat Chop turned into a Max Darkness move, which works lovely in different uh, up against different Pokemon, such as like Shadow Rider Calyrex. So really do like this Pokemon. Really do like this moveset. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Kyogre. Choice Scarf Kyogre with that Drizzle ability to pair up with the Barrascuda to allow it to double its speed in that rain. It's got Water Spout, it's got Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Ice Beam for a great Choice Scarf moveset for any Kyogre. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Brent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Barrascuda, Kyogre, and Zacian tournament winning team. First battle coming at you guys, and I just realized it is a brand new season. It is now March 1st, which means the season reset, and we're here looking to push back into Master Ball here. Going up against Azacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team for battle number one with Regilecki, G-Max Cinderace, Male Indeedee, and then last but not least, he's got that Whimscot for speed control. So you know what? I'm going to bring my Whimscot in here as well. I feel like it can rock out and do a lot here. I also want to bring Barrish Scooter and Kai Ogre, but I don't know if I want to lead any of them. Do I want to lead any of them? I might just lead the Zacian. Zacian could definitely be great here. I do like the Zacian. And then we'll bring Barrish and Kyogre in the back. Sounds good to me. Sounds really, really good to me. Because my only problem would be if he leads Regilecki. So I don't want to lead any of the water Pokemon. Because then they can just get out sweat and get dumped on instantly. So we're just going to be like, hey, let's lay off of that one and spring him in the back lane. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. Since Generation has now been announced, they also showed off the starter. So let me know what starter you guys are going to be picking. Is it going to be Quaxly, Fuecoco, or Sprigadito? Is that how you pronounce it? I believe so. For me personally, right now I'm leaning towards Fue Coco. Him and Quaxley are definitely top two, but I'm waiting to see the final evolutions to really make my decision. This guy ends up leading the uh, the Regilecki alongside with the Wimscott, so we can definitely see a Dynamax coming out from the Regilecki, which is kind of scary. It is kind of scary. But from here, I might just uh, hmm, what could I do? I could set up a Tailwind. We do have the Focus Sash, and I really do not see him doubling down on me. So you know what? I could just actually uh. Helping hand in case he Dynamaxes, or I was thinking of just Encoring, but you know, we'll set up the town one. We'll go from here and see what this guy's doing. So we'll go here, and mm, do I want to go for the play rough? Yeah, we'll go for the play rough. We'll do more damage. This is double, but then it's not very effective. Plus stab, but we're just going to go for the play rough. Definitely go for the play rough, right in the Regilecki slot, and see what he's going to do, because he could potentially Dynamax this Regilecki here. 
Definitely potentially Dynamax in this Pokemon. So I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Yeah, he's going to Dynamax. So I, I should have Helping Hand here. I definitely should have just dropped the Helping Hand. Because then I could always get off my tail when the next turn because there's no way he's doubling down into Pokemon. So he goes for Dynamax here. No problem. I'm fine with that, dude. This thing is an absolute beast in Dynamax form. Probably Life Orb, but it is a Glass Cannon. It's an absolute Glass Cannon. Absolute Glass Cannon. Let's see how he plays this one. Let's see how he plays this one. So Tailwind's going to come out from him. Tailwind's going to come out from me. He's going to outspeed me. He's probably going to take a shot into my Zacian. And hopefully, just hopefully, Zacian can actually eat this up. And we can get rolling out from there. That can be a big turn for us. That could be a big turn for us if we could just like eat up the shot. He goes for an airstream. That's fine by me. Is that going into Wimscott? It is. So Focus Hash is going to pop. I'm with that all day. I am with that all day. Now the real question is, do we try to go for an Encore here? Could definitely try to go for an Encore here. He's going to get that speed boost. That's totally fine. Play Rough is going to pop. Could be good for us. Could do some big old damage. Play Rough coming out here. Built. Oh, yes, sir, Zacian. We love it. Okay. Now the real question is, do we think that this Energy Ball can actually take this thing out? I think it definitely has a shot. Or if that Wimscott's going to hit. Actually, he's going to set up a Tailwind, so. Actually, no. He already set up a Tailwind. He's going to hit me. He's going to hit me, so I'm going to go for the Encore here. I'm going to go for the Encore, and you know what? Do I take out Regilecki, or do I? Yeah, I got to get rid of Regilecki. Right? I have to get rid of Regilecki, so you know what? We're just going to do this. I'm going to try to Encore him into a Tailwind, just to, just to stay on the field. He withdraws Wimscott. Okay. He straight up withdraws from Scott. So I could have went straight into that energy. Probably should have been my play. He's probably going to go for another airstream. Try to get his nice speed boost here. That's really smart of him. Definitely really smart of him. But as what's called does come out here. As uh, Barascuda and Kyrie come out here. We should be able to be fine. Do some do a lot of damage. So he goes to the lightning. My Zassian does eat that up. That is beautiful. Love to see it. And we're going to be able to just dump onto that. Reg like you in this turn. So that's a huge turn for us. Definitely a huge turn for us. Huge, huge turn. Yeah, we totally should have went to the energy ball there. That would have been a great turn for us. That would have been a great turn for us. But he ends up swapping. That's fine. That is fine. Totally fine. We'll take out you. And who's he going to bring out here? Probably his Zassian, right? Wait, probably his Zassian. If I had to guess, Zassian's going to come out here. So from here, he's going to easily pick up the double kill. And Grim Nate is going to poke. But I want to try to get off an energy ball. I want to try to get off some type of move onto that thing. Because... The problem here is that Calyrex is just super, super fast. Just super fast. It's too fast. It's too fast. So, you know what? Do any of these guys have a Sash? If I had to guess, maybe Wim's got So, I'm just going to try to take off the Sash. But again, he's probably just going to outspeed me. Kind of just get going from there, right? So, we'll try to go for a Behemoth Blade. But again, Astral Rod should come out here, outspeed us both, and just take us out, right? Helping hand. There was no need to actually go into that. But that's fine. You can do your thing. You can do your thing. Let's see how it goes. Astro Barrage, right? Yeah. So, big old double kill coming out from him. But I still feel like we're thriving strong here. I still think we're doing really good. Because we still have Dynamax. We have Bear Scooter. We have Kyogre in the back end. But the real question is, how should we play this one? Because we know how fast Shadow Rider Calyrex can be and how big of a threat it is right now. It's a huge threat. So, the thing that I kind of want to do right now is go into an Airstream. Into the Calyrex. And then go into an Orange that's kind of what I'm looking for because the airstream could definitely give us that speed advantage that we need. Bear Scooter should be fast on the field with that plus two with the Swift Swim. I do dig it. Because we're both Tailwind and then Swift Swim comes out here and we just boost our speed even more. Right? Bear Scooter should be fast. Like, dude, Calyrex is super fast, so it's kind of scaring me. Let me see this thing speed. Come on, yo. Please be decently high. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Run it up. Run it up, Bear Scooter. Okay, so we're going to Dynamax. And again, I think Airstream's going to be our player. I think rolling into an airstream and into an origin pulse at the same time could do us really good. I've had a choice to an origin pulse over anything else, so you know we're, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's do it, because this Calyrex just poses such a big threat. We have to get rid of it now. We have to get rid of it now. It's plus two. It just got double grim nade boost, so I would rather double down into it just in case it is focus ash, because you never know. You never know. Chances are the Wimscott has focus ash, which I think it does, but you never know. Sometimes Shadow Rider Calyrexes are rocking out with them focus ash. So if we can actually make this turn, we can actually be thriving here. He's going to hard swap. That's totally fine. He's going to go into Zacian. We'll take speed from that thing as well. And then we'll get rolling out from there. Then I can pr pretty much go for whatever move I want. Right? Pretty much go for whatever move I want. We're going to have we're gonna have speed on here. We're going to be thriving. What's Wimscott really going to go for? Maybe like an energy ball? I don't mind going for a not very effective shot onto the airship. So he swaps. Okay. He's looking for a way out here. And I'm trying to think of what he's trying to do here. 
I'm trying to think of what he's trying to do. I do have Quake ready to roll. I do have a bunch of other moves that, like, that's what Parachute is so good with. He just covers so much. He has so much different coverage. He's going to go straight for a switch of room. So he's going to take my choice card. What's he giving me? What's he giving me? So this thing is basically done. He's going to give me an eject button. That's fine. You just take my choice scarf. So now we can actually go into any move we want. And we're taking speed anyway. So we'll go here. And this origin pulse, if it lands on Zassian, has the chance of taking him out. I am digging it. I am digging it out. The Baron Scooter with the speed raise. Switcheroo. So we know that that Wimscott does not have the... Uh, oh, we missed origin. Hit Zassian. No! Get out of my face. Get out of my face with that one. Get out of my face with that one. Get out of my face with that one. That's whack. Okay, we're going for another airstream. Yeah, when Peter's out on both sides, we gotta go for another airstream. Another airstream to take you out, and then we'll just go straight into another origin pulse. That's whack. But we know that the Woman's Scott doesn't have focus ash, so there's a high chance I feel like the uh Calyrex has a focus ash. We'll see how this one goes. He sets up a tailwind, that's definitely scary. I don't like this one bit. What's he gonna go for? We do outspeed, which is wonderful. So we'll be able to take you out. And can Kyogre actually out No, we cannot. He's gonna be plus two. We're sitting plus two now, and it's tough news. It's gonna be a real close battle. It's gonna be a real close battle. Real close battle. Let's see how this one plays out here. What is Zassian going for here? Blade here. Who are you going after? Can we eat this? This is scary, man. This is real scary. He's probably going after Barrasquid, right? Barrasquid eat this all day. Not very effective shot. Takes me out in one shot. Get out my face. Get, dude, this that Pokemon is way too strong. Oh my lord. Way too strong. Origin Pulse pokes out here. Can this KO this thing? Because this could be a really close battle if this is the case. Should be able to KO, right? Really? 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 Get out of my face. That's GG's. That is going to be GG's. Are you kidding me? That's how we lose our first battle of the season? That's real rough. That is real rough. We're still going to try to drop an air or an origin pulse. Maybe he missed an attack. Maybe something something happens. But that's how we lose it. To a, a not very effective behemoth blade. Taking out a almost fully HP Dynamax Mon. Come on, yo. Someone has to do something about it. That should not. Like, I get like if it's like neutrally effective how much damage it can do. But like, not very effective. It's still doing that much damage. Come on. Astro Barrage pokes out here. We are able to eat up. Can Zassi miss? Sacred Sword comes out here. And he connects. That's GG's. G to the G's. Come on, yo. Only if we would have landed that first Origin Pulse. We had a chance of just thriving out here, but hey. I don't want to start off the season. Let's try to go back to back and grab ourselves a winning record for today's. Let's hop into battle number two and look to grab our first victory for today's video. And more importantly, for the brand new season. We're sitting at 0-1. I'm kind of upset that that uh, Behemoth Blade did take out my Bear Scooter. But it is what it is. Zassian is still OP. The thing is amazing. But we're going up against a Rush Ram and Kyogre team with Faramosa, Thunderous, Landers, and Metagross. So pretty cool team. If I had to guess, Metagross is probably holding that weakness policy. So we got to watch out for that. We definitely got to watch out for that. Uh, Whimscott for speed control is really, really good here. So got to lead it. Got to get after the battle that way. And I might just end up leading... Hmm. I'm probably gonna bring same squad, but I might end up leading. Oh, I could lead the, the water squad. I could just leave Barrish Scooter. Straight up just leave Barrish Scooter tailwind and kind of get after it that way. We probably not even gonna need Kyogre. I'm not even gonna bring Kyogre. I feel like Cartana and Zassian really just work. I'm gonna lock him in. I'm gonna lock him down. I feel like Barrish Scooter can just trigger its own ring. You know? Just going into a tailwind and then into a max geyser first turn. Trigger my own ring. We can just get rolling out from there. I'm with it all day. I'm definitely with it all day long. All day long, baby. But yeah, upset on that first battle. I'm definitely upset on that first one. God dang, dude. But let's see who this guy leads. He's going to lead Regiram alongside with who? With Faramosa. So it could be a speed swap with the Faramosa. We can definitely see that happening. Um, We could just go into straight Tailwind. I had to guess Focus Ash is probably poking out with Faramosa. Right? I had to guess. So I think Tailwind is definitely going to be a play. Could just go straight into a speed. Get a little bit of speed action. Or we can get a special defense boost. Or I can set the rain. That's my call here. Set the rain. Kind of feeling this little speed boost here. And then we can encore into a speed swap. No, we do not want to encore into I mean, we could. But I'm with setting this rain all day. We do damage on uh, Reservoir. It could be policy. Uh, no, we're just gonna go for the uh, we're gonna go for the quake into this thing. 
I'm going to Quake in this. We have a super effective move. Let's take the special defense boost because I think Reshiram is special attacking as well. So special defense boost could really benefit us. So we're going to Dynamax or Barrascooter. We are going to get rolling out. I feel like Kyogre isn't as good in this series as it was in previous. Series. I don't know why. I just feel like I struggle a lot more with using Kyogre in this series. Last series. Last series, I felt like I was just thriving. It was super easy to just drop water spouts. This one, I feel like every team has a counter for Kyogre. That might be why. I feel like people are starting to learn it. You know, so we'll see. This guy's going to Dynamax the Rush Ram. Probably go into a Speed Swap, if I had to guess, right? Speed Swap or maybe a Coach. You can't Coach, right? Rush Ram doesn't get Dynamax, but if I it, like, if I had to guess, Fire Moses is really only there for Speed Swaps. And just take a complete Speed Control. But we're tailwinding up. I'm cool with this all day. You can Speed Swap. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Tailwind. Mwah. Lovely little Tailwind. Lovely little Tailwind coming out here. And I wonder who's going to be faster. It's going to be my Bash Cube. My Bash Scooter definitely outspeeds even if he speed swaps. I'm with it all day. We're going to this Quake. Look at that damage. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. We'll see what he goes into to from here. But I can just go into another Max Quake. Take out Reservoir Ram, no problem. Just drop a big old Energy Ball and take off the Pheromosis. Focus Ash, because we know what's going there. And it is going to coach. It is rocking with the coach. So we got a physical attacking Reservoir Ram. Okay. So he's coaching up. He's going to go for a Flare. So he's going to change up the weather. I'm cool with that all day. I'm fine with that. We're going to trigger our Focus Ash. And from here, uh, Energy Ball into a Quake, right? Probably our play. Probably our play. And then our last turn, we can go into a nice little guy. Just change up weather. So Energy Ball. Take off that. And then we'll just Quake. Then we shall Quake. Why is he guards here? That could be tough, but... He guards, he guards. If he doesn't, that's fine. That would be totally fine. If not, I still want to go into a geyser next turn because I do not want to give this guy advantage with the weather. So Quake comes through. He does not guard. We're going to say bye-bye, Reshiram. -bye, Ram. Get on out my face. Bear Scooter's going to be thriving. He's going to be thriving here. So Reshiram Ram gone. Energy Ball is going to fly. We're going to take off the Focus Ash. We're not going to have to worry about it. The next turn, I have to set the weather. I have to take weather control because, you know, Bear Scooter can get off maybe another turn with the weather. And it could just be awesome. It could just be lovely. Does he have another Fire Pokemon in the back that I should be worried about in the heat? But either way, I got you now. That's just my plan, and that's awesome. Our opponent quit there. We take those battles all day long. There it is, guys. One and one for the series. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Try to get in a full battle, and more importantly, another victory under our belt. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving the team that we're going up against. This is what I love about when the season switches off. You get some really, really cool teams that you're going up against. We are going up against a Rillaboom, Chandelure, Kiram Black, Lugia, Alcreme, and Grimstrong team. I haven't used Chandelure in so long. I absolutely love that Pokemon. But how should we go with this one? How should we play? I feel like Kai Ogre, Bear Scooter can really just get rocking here. So I'm going to leave both of them. I'm going to bring Zaskin, obviously. And then I think Kartana can just rock out on this back end. I don't really think we need speed control. If I really need it, I can just go into Bear Scooter and just go into Max Airstream. But we're sitting one and one. We are sitting at one and one. Our last opponent just quit after I dumped on the Reservant. But. We take those wins all day. We take those quick wins because, you know, I'm trying to push that master tier into the new season. Into the new season, I'm trying to push that master ball tier. Trying to get rocking with that one. Trying it out. Trying it out. But still upset at that first battle. I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> still upset at that first battle. Let's see how this one plays out. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a winning record for today's video and actually get a full battle in here for the third one so you guys can uh, get a little bit of get a little bit of content in this video. I, I, I don't mind when people quit, but it's just like in my head, I'm thinking, like, dude, they just watched like a three minute uh, battle. I gotta, I gotta give them a long battle here. So we're hoping we can get some uh, content in here. He's gonna go Lugia. He's gonna go uh, Grimstarl here. He could fake me out. I think just Dynamax and straight up the uh, Bash Guda is probably my play. And maybe going into Ice Beam. I mean, that thing is multi scaled with the ability to Lugia. And if I had to guess, it is holding the weakness policy because, you know, that is like its main item. So from here, I could just. Thinking about it, trying to get a paralyze on that. Could double down into it. But again, dude, that thing is so bulky. You know what? We're gonna go, we're gonna do this. We're going to a water spout here. And I'm gonna go. What do I do here? I think we'll just take out Grimstarl. I was gonna double down into Lugia. Like we know it's Dynamax, but again, I do like I just don't want to proc its weakness policy. Lugia isn't that good until its weakness policy is proc, and then you have a bulky, very hard hitting Monty brother. So procking the weakness policy definitely is a tough decision when it's when playing up against it. It's real tough. It is real tough. So we're gonna Dynamax Barrier Scooter right off the rip. Barrier Scooter is actually one of my favorite Jenny, but 
One of my favorite Chinese Pokemon. Really, really cool. And he is going to end up Dynamax and Lugia. We saw this coming. And this is exactly why I didn't want to proc it. Because, it, like I said, it's super bulky to begin with. And the only way it is viable is when you proc this weakness policy. So, if we can keep the weakness policy off the field, I really do not mind going up against it. Because it's not going to deal that much damage. Especially if he brings out another Pokemon after Grimstrong that I can just max quick into. And get a nice little special defense boost. But, yeah, let's see how this one plays out here. He's just going to set up a Reflect. That's a pretty smart play by him. I'll give it to him. Smart play by him, but his Grimstrong is going to go down here. No problem whatsoever with the geyser and the water spout coming out. Maybe just the geyser will do the trick. I can definitely see it. Yo, Barris could hit some control. Bring him down. Is that thing sashed? It is sashed. It is focus sashed. It is focus sashed. We'll go for water spout. We'll say bye bye, and we'll chip up some damage, and more importantly, take off that multi scale onto that Lugia. So Lugia's multi scale is gone. Now we can uh, hit it with some moves. He's going to drop a uh, lightning here. And can you eat that up? The, you know, that's why I said, dude, Lugia is not that good without his uh, weakness policy. If we would have proc weakness policy with Thunder there, it would have soaked it up with multi scale. It would have dumped on my Barrier Scooter. So, great call by Jeans. Great call by Jeans. And luckily, he went in the Barrier Scooter because now my uh, Kyogre is at full health. His Water Spouts still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. We can just rock out from there. Okay, I'm with it. With the counter. The, to the, the complete counter comes out here. The complete counter. Actually, watch this. I'm oh, I can't protect. I could hard swap. So, I might do. Could hard swap in his ass in here. Or even Kartana. I'm gonna hard swap in his ass in here. You know what? I'm just gonna go for an airstream. I'll do this all day. Luke is probably gonna take out my bear scooter. We'll take out that roll boom and then we'll kinda roll out from there. I'm really like I'm loving where we're sitting. So solid third battle here. This is what this is what I want to bring you guys. I want to bring you guys a solid third battle here. Which that we win. Hopefully we can win this one. So we're going to swap here. I'm guessing the Grassy Glide is going to fly out here. I don't mind it going into my Zacian. My Zacian can eat up and then he can outspeed and kind of go from there. And plus he's going to get a speed boost, which is lovely. Nothing's better than a Zacian with a speed boost. So if he's going to pop, oh, he's going to go for the fake out. That's, that's even better. That's even better. Now we go for this Airstream. And this should take him out, no problem, right? Later, Roll Boom. We do not. That's rough news. But still, it's, 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 not, it's not as rough as, 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 as having my Kyogre out. So we take him out, we get the speed boost. He's probably gonna take out Barrier Scooter here, right? Take out Barrier Scooter, please. Go for another lightning. Go straight for an airstream. Now is that up against Barrier Scooter? It is. Okay, so Barrier Scooter goes down to that. That thing still hasn't proct its uh we still haven't proct the weakest policy. And the plus ones just cancel out. So we still have speed all day. We still have speed all day. We'll save our Kyogre for the back end because it has a choice scarf, and we will now bring out the lovely little Kartana. The lovely little Kartana. And I wonder how much damage the Asking can actually do. I wonder. I do wonder. And we're going to try to pick up KO with Kartana. Because if we do that, we will get Beast Boost. And we kind of just thrive out from there. Okay. I'm with it. I'm, I'm like, what saying. This is looking pretty good for us. Kartana's a little, but he, but he packs a punch. So Behemoth Blade, we're going to fly out here on you. And then I'm just going to go for an aerial. So if you get that Beast Boost and roll out from there. We do have speed. We have speed all day. I mean, the only thing he can do is Grass Guy, But he's not taking out either of these Pokemon. We're both Steel Typing. And Kartana, I think, double resistant with grass and steel. He's gonna withdraw roll boom. I'm fine with that. Who's he gonna drop into? He's gonna throw out probably his other restrict him on. Chandelure comes out here. Hopefully little Chandelure. And Chandelure scaring me. I'm not even gonna lie. Chandelure is definitely scaring me. Definitely scaring me. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly out here. How much damage are we gonna do up against Bulky and Lugia? That's a lot. That's a lot of damage right there. That's a huge chunk. He's gonna go for an airstream. I'm cool with that. So he's gonna grab another speed boost here. That's gonna that's gonna chip up to the end. Now, the real question is, the real question is, how fast is that chandelier? It is in the rain, so that, that actually works well. Aerial Ace is going to fly through here. How much damage can it chip up? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> i seen better. Get some HP back. Uh, let's play. Let's play, Eugene. Chandelier is just a beast. Chandelier is really, really posing a threat on me. He's really posing a threat on me. The Lugia is plus two. Lugia is plus two. I kind of just want to go into... I think Zacian should be able to outspeed him, right? Zacian should be able to outspeed him. And then I could just go into... I mean, none of these moves really do anything towards... Uh, <laughs> towards this, uh, what's it called? This Chandelure. Hmm. I guess we'll just aerial ace, right? I guess this is our play. Like, we have Kyogre in the back end. But he has Rillaboom in the back end. Protects you. It's gonna come down to the wire. This one's gonna come down to the wire. Wire ain't even a word for it. 
You're always gonna poke here. Oi. We go for Heat Wave. Cartana's gonna go down. This actually might work better for me. Yeah, Cartana drop. Okay. Cartana goes down, and this works out better for me. Because if I can change this to a two on one up against the Roboom, then we can be sitting good. Because a one on one with Kyogre Roboom is not gonna work out good for us. But we need this, uh. We're gonna need this Sassy move. So this actually works really well. Because I start to think about it, I was just like, wait a minute. If we're struggling to take out the Chandler. He's gonna bring out Roboom and take out my Kyogre. But making this happen right here, this is actually gonna work well for us. So I'm at full health. I have speed, right? I'm true scarf. Cutting it close. Cutting it close. I'm definitely going to go into this slot. And I'm definitely going to water spout. Where do I ice beam? No, we got to go for this. We got to go for this lovely little water spout. We probably should have Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse probably should have been playing. He does outspeed me. And he's going to go after Zassian, which Zassian should be soak. That's a huge soak. That's a huge soak for us. It's a huge soak for me. But Behemoth Blade flies through here. Kyogre should go next. I'm going to take out you. And then we're going to take out the Shin. Okay. I wonder how this one's actually going to turn out here. I wonder how this one's going to turn out here. I'm going to be cutting it super close. To be honest. To be honest, it's going to be cutting it super close. But good thing we do have the Sassy. I really did, I really did need it. So we outspeed him unless he's going for Grassy Gods. The rain does stop. That's tough. The rain does stop. How many turns left in the, uh, the Grassy Drain? The Fleck wears off. That's huge for us as well. That is huge for us as well. Allows our Behemoth way to do a little bit more damage. How many turns left in that Grass Terrain? All we have to do is hit this thing pretty much once. How many turns left in that Terrain? One. Okay, so protect his Zassian, 100% the call. And then we'll go into Water Spout. If he, if he takes out my Kyogre, he takes out my Kyogre. Kyogre. But we have the Grass guy or the Grass Terrain ends next turn, and then Zassian 100% speeds. Slaps up on him. That's GG's, right? Looking good, yo. It came down to the wire, dude. It came down to the wire. Him swapping his real room definitely, like, kind of flipped the whole script. Because we were looking really, really solid. Like, we were just going to clean up the battle and just be a guaranteed victory. And once he swapped that real room, I started thinking, I was just like, that's what he's doing. But he canceled the battle anyway, and that's going to be GG's. What a way to get the brand new season started. It went 2-1 with this tournament-winning Barrascuda team right here. Absolutely loved it. The first battle came down to the wire. We lost because Zassian was absolutely broken. Dumped on my, uh... My Dynamax Barracuda in one shot, and it was not very effective. So, like I've been saying throughout the whole video, I'm upset with that one. But then second battle, we made our opponent quit. Third and final battle, you guys got your money's worth. Got you guys a really good battle and ended up grabbing ourselves that winner record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.